Hey guys, today's sponsor is Compass Mining. Compass Mining is a Bitcoin mining and hosting service for new and experienced miners. With decentralization at the core of their values, they seek to provide the best service and support for your mining needs. With hosting included and full control where you mine to, you mine at your own pace with exceptional support backing you all the way. If ease of use and establishing passive income on mining Bitcoin sounds good for you, then hit the description below and head over to Compass Mining's website. Welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. Big day today. EIP 1559 goes live. So a lot of people have a lot of questions. I've watched a couple live streams on it. Let's unpack some of this today. So obviously we're doing the immersion update, but and I'll show you guys some of the progress that we made last night, but let's get into the fee breakdown because there's so much confusion that people I've seen out there how big of an impact has it been on miners? So let's first unpack what you guys are looking at when you're looking at etherscan.io. When you're looking at that, it's a little confusing because there's the block reward, and then there's the fee burn, and then there's a percentage. And what you have to understand is when you click on one of those blocks, you'll see at the top, the block reward plus transaction fees, and at the bottom, you'll see the total fee burned in that particular block. It's the summation of both that block reward total and the fee burn was the actual total transaction cost of that block, okay? So if we see something that says two ETH reward block plus one ETH transaction fee plus two ETH burned, that's the actual total of, in that particular, it'd be five in that case, but it's not super clear and I understand the confusion on some of the live streams that I saw today from people like, I don't understand, it looks like there's being more that's burned than the transaction fee. The reason for this is one, there's a little bit more traffic today. People are buying and doing a lot of stuff with ETH because it's 1559. Two, the size of the gas limit has doubled. So if a block is all the way full and it's using that 30 million gas, there's more transactions that can get stuffed into there thereby there's more to burn from a base fee standpoint. So that's why you guys are seeing uh, not a huge impact right away on some of the first few blocks that were out there. You're like, wait a minute, it shows 2.4 block reward. That's what I've been getting this entire time. Well, what, you know, over the last couple weeks, well, that block is bigger. It's, it's got double the space. Does this, is this impacting miners? Yes, right now it looks like it's been about a 20% potentially 20% impact right now of just what we've seen so far. And when you're looking at Etherscan on the right side, if that block says that 95% of the transaction fees were burned, that's exactly what happened. So 95% of that transaction fee was burned because almost of that transaction type was mostly base fee in that particular instance. But then you'll see some transactions that maybe say 60%. And what that is, is that's not just the base fee. That may be minor tip, it may be just MEV extraction. So the best way to look at that now is still to go into Ethermine and see what the average block reward is, and then that gives you an idea. But so far, it's, it's been about a 30, you know, 20% uh, by and large impact. On larger blocks, it's gonna be bigger. Um, but yes, the IP 1559's off. We're seeing a relative uh, decrease in total uh, revenues right now. And we'll see how the rest of the world orchestrates around the minor tip concept until proof of stake comes uh, to the chain. And then we are not uh, mining Ethereum anymore. So if transaction order start, starts to go around that minor tip and then there's a kind of a, a run on the minor tip to try to get that transaction order short higher, then we'll start to see higher rewards from the minor tip coming in and not so much base fee as that won't be where people start to orchestrate you know their transaction order shorts around but wanted to get that out there for people hopefully that helps clear out some of the confusion we're monitoring it like anybody else let's kind of jump to see what progress we made since yesterday you guys can see here we got most of the valve stuff mocked up this is not this stuff down here is not uh, glued yet. So we're just kind of making sure our distances and stuff are right. Highly recommend if you're doing this to do that. 
We did seal these pieces because we know that that wasn't going to change, but the actual, you know, where it's going to go is set up. And we started making those impacts to pull back some of the insulation to be able to get some of the stuff outside and get that mocked up. Now this section over here is going to be effectively a manifold because we're going to have more tanks that come in. So we actually need to build an actual entire manifold in that section because we're going to have caps that'll be able to go to other tanks at some point. And of course you guys seen the pump that we had over there. So more today uh, coming around, we had to uh, do a few movement of the dry cooler, but stay tuned to this channel. This is the second video today and we'll get back to you guys. Follow me on Twitter. Make sure you're following on Twitter because I'm going to be showing some more stuff here and we'll catch up with you guys in a bit.